the idea of using genetically modified mosquitoes has been around for quite a long time um, because basically you're using the mosquitoes themselves to control the malaria. So you're not relying on things like a change in behaviour of people, for instance, when they um, have to sleep under bed nets. Um, and you're also not relying on, on things like sort of repeated application of insecticides. Um, so the idea is that you would be able to release hopefully a small number of mosquitoes and that they would spread some kind of genetic modification through the population and that would control the malaria. It's not actually being piloted at the moment, so it's still in development in the labs. Um, Target Malaria is working in Uganda and Burkina Faso, um, and we have uh, partners out there who are, who are um, sort of starting to um, look at the uh, mosquitoes that exist in that area and to build facilities for being able to, um, to work with genetically modified mosquitoes. Um, and in Burkina Faso, they have actually um, worked with some sterile genetically modified mosquitoes, but, but so far nobody has got, actually got gene drive in Africa. Well, our long-term goal is to have a strain of mosquitoes that would be an effective and safe tool to use for malaria control. So the actual mosquito strains that we're looking at would um, have uh, their fertility affected, which would mean they would reduce the number of wild mosquitoes in the population. And by reducing the number of mosquitoes, you reduce the amount of malaria. So that's our long-term goal, is that we, that we create the strain and then we can hand it over to the countries that wish to use it and that they can incorporate it into their national malaria control programs. We are very close to having a strain, so we're very hopeful that we've got something in the lab that, that will be suitable for use. Um, so, but then we have to go through all the correct regulatory processes, risk assessments, um, and basically that's going to take a while. So hopefully, once all that's done, then we'll be able to actually have this tool ready.